cheese-like discharge. When I said I loved cheese. <laughs> I gotta go. My fiance has been calling me Little Miss Yeasty. Why is the tip so big? Honey, you're really exposing yourself. Mm, pass. This is not smash or pass. <laughs> you smash? Maybe not right now. Because I'm a little yeasty. <laughs> It feels like one of those fancy videos. Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and today I'm here to talk to you about my intimate life. Side note, by the way, Tiffany is gone and I'm kind of sad. This used to be her room. This was the place where she was sleeping and now she's gone. She actually said she was gonna go get milk, but she hasn't been back. Since she is gone, I feel like I can talk about this a little bit more, but at the end of this year, my fiance and I will have been dating for nine years which is almost a decade. And every single time that I think about it, it is mind-blowing to me. Like, I've wasted all the best years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will say, at one point in our relationship, not now, it's gotten so good now, but there was a point where there was like a lull. There was a point where it just fizzled out and we seemed like best friends, and not in a good way. Because I think we just had too many responsibilities, like things were going on, we had to take care of our families. It was a lot. So we sat down one day and we're like, we gotta, we gotta do something about this. We gotta get spicy again. So we started asking each other questions of like, what should we do? What do we like? What do we not like? As if it's our first time being with each other. And one of the things that I was kind of shy to do, but I added in some help. I really love Lilo's products. I've talked about them all the time. I love Lilo for so many reasons. I mean, they have the softest, buttery, smooth, body safe silicone that I just love the way that it feels. Their products are made with everybody in mind. So it's not just another massager, because I've had those before. It's really well thought out. They have so many unique devices. The one that we have loved for so long, the one that we literally brought from our house here is the Tiani Duo. You need this in your life if you're in a relationship. It's like a vibrating couples massager. It's got two powerful motors that are specifically designed for couples who want to like deepen their physical connection. And side note, it has eight pleasure patterns, which is also so fun to experiment with. So the two motors, they work together to provide a dual sensation inside and out, and it comes with this wireless remote. The best way to describe it is like you just lose yourself in the fun. It's soft, it's flexible, it blends to fit all body shapes, and I know it sounds crazy, but the fact that just adding the Tiani Duo into your intimate moments can actually make you feel closer to one another. Maybe you just started dating your partner, or maybe you've been together for years and years, I recommend this to every single couple in my life. Make sure to check out Lilo, linked in the description because your relationship, your partner will thank you and they will thank me. So leave it in the comment, thanking me. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you Lilo for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. We got two major problems that we're trying to address today and we've been putting it off and putting it off. But number one, you see this lamp over here? No light bulbs. I ordered it already. Oh really? Okay, yeah. problem number two, not a single ceiling light. When the sun sets in here, that's it, game over. We can't do anything in this room. But that's not even the biggest problem. Ugh, I feel kind of embarrassed. When we came, we brought two giant suitcases and two small suitcases. To be fair, like I would say a big portion of one of the big suitcases was like essentials and things that I needed from the house, like some utensils, some camera gear, tripods, but it was all, all my clothes. I was unpacking and Tiffany goes, oh wow, you guys brought a lot of clothes. You guys? <laughs> yeah, I said, this is all mine and she goes, Oh. I told him to pack. This is how much I packed so I could wear cute little outfits every day. Let me show you my outfit. I got a sketch from Aritzia on. It has naked women on there. I have an Aritzia top on that I got from sale. It's a tank top. And then this cardigan is Verge Girl, I think. But it's so freezing that I had to put it on. This is what I'm working with. I got skirts. I got anything you can think of. I got dresses, my silk robe, my tops, my dress shirts. I got my undies, workout clothes. Are you kidding? I got workout clothes. I have comfy clothes. My These are my comfy shorts. And this one, yeah, I have nothing to wear. Okay, wait, I'm not done with my son though. And then I have my comfy, comfy shirts, this tennis merch. I have my blazers and my this and my jacket on this side. So that's my stuff. Let me show you what my fiance has. He has one short, a jacket, one pair of long pants. I said we might stay for like two weeks initially. Oh. Look, <laughs> three shirts, uh -huh. then we recycle them. <laughs> 
with you. <laughs> okay, well, we need to go buy you some clothes. And I might need some clothes, too. No, I'm kidding. But I do need some sneakers, so we gotta go out and buy a bunch of stuff. TikTok is at it again. Guess what I bought? I saw all those TikToks of people in Korea that was like, guess what I got done in Korea? Color theory. Have you seen those filters on TikTok where they literally just put colors onto your face and it shows you which colors are good for you? I'm gonna do this before I go shopping because maybe, <laughs> but just- why is this such primary color? <laughs> I bought it for $15 on Amazon. Why is this giving your grandma vibe? Do I look good in red? Yes. That's how they do it in Korea. They charge you like 30 something dollars and you sit there. Uh -huh. They have these big capes that you put on uh -huh. and they just compare each color. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Who knows? That's for sure a Chinese <laughs> wedding. Uh, no. Okay, white? Uh, no. I'm fucking wearing white, you <laughs> bitch. A brown? Mm, pass. This is not <laughs> smash your pass. Which is speaking of smash your pass, this is probably the worst time to bring this up, but we have another errand to run today. If you catch me at CVS in the New York City area, mind your damn business. You see this sty? I went on antibiotics twice for this freaking sty, and I got a yeast infection. It's real yeasty. My fiance has been calling me Little Miss Yeasty. I woke up and he goes, Good morning, yeasty. I'm like, this is mother. <laughs> then my sister told me I have to go to CVS and buy this medication. It's a tube. I gotta stick the tube up and squeeze all of it out. You know? In America. <laughs> I love a good yellow. Sure. Okay, thanks. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pastel green. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Smash. Smash. <laughs> Smash. 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 <laughs> Really? Yeah. Maybe not right now. <laughs> Cause I'm a little yeasty. <laughs> smash. 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 Pass. Smash. Pass. Smash. Uh, pass. This has been our favorite thing ever. We're gonna go catch the freaking shuttle. <laughs> it's like our favorite way of transporting anywhere. Why is it so cozy? You're <laughs> standing here like idiots. Like, where's well, the 15 shuttle? minutes. Where's the shuttle? The shuttle's late. Turns out, um, <laughs> not on the weekends, which makes sense. <laughs> it's fine, but we were just standing here like idiots. I got my athletic shoes at home because my mom and I wear the same shoe size, and she has been jacking all of my sneakers. So I can't even bring one here, which she'll probably bring one the next time she comes. But I need to get a pair of like New Balances. I just want the most comfortable sneakers so I can walk a million miles. Use the gym. Yes, and I do want to use the gym. Nordstrom's not open, so we're walking to some underground market. It's so how do we get there? We gotta go underground, but I'm not sure how yet. It's kind of creepy down here. We've made it. He needs to buy some athletic sneakers too, so some sort of tennis shoes. It's so oh, no, oh, no. cute. I don't want to peer pressure you into getting I, a shoe you don't love, but I, I think you look so good. Shoes number one, shoes number two, shoe number three. This light is so cute. Price tag, 2100 Oh my god. Look at that chair, honey. Look at these little stools. Even this little stool. No price? <laughs> you know what that means? Oh, you gotta go. How much is that? I know. <laughs> this is the Emily Mariko toaster where you put water in here and it steams. I've seen so many even like Korean mukbangers with this. So cute. I just am sitting inside of a Nordstrom right now and I have never felt more like a discharge queen. Yeasty discharge queen. And on the outside, I'm trying to play it cool, but it's like, it's like a waterfall. Like that. <laughs> what? Review a blue bottle. I've had blue bottle before. Oh. No what the heck? Matcha tastes like 90% oat milk and like 5% matcha, and the other 5% is just a surcharge because we're in New York City. Why was this so expensive? How about the croissant? It could be flakier. Did they have to beg my fiance to take B-rolls with me? 
Meanwhile, he's taking the most aggressive B-rolls of Uniqlo. Uniqlo of all places. How about this one? Switch it up, it's almost black, but it's not black. No. Okay. <laughs> These are really giving me like the Korean Ajima vibe, but I need to get them. I mean, I, they look so comfortable. It looks like what you were wearing. I will find you. I've never seen him take so much care of picking out shirts that all look the same in my eyes. <laughs> like Very he's different. analyzing each one, comparing them. He's like, which one? I'm like, they look the freaking same. They're like, like some new fits. I want to see some new fits. Some new black shirts. Ah, yes, totally different. New and unique. This is Never done before. Somewhere. Trying on a jacket. The only jacket that he's like so look far. At this. Hey, it's so cute. You call this so cute? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> we did this last time we were here. You just place your items in there. <gasps> What's that thing? Whoa. Do I get a discount? 20 items for 300. That's pricey, but that's Wait, my whole year of wardrobe right here. Two years. Make it two years. Two years of wardrobe right here, guys. Okay. These are so cute. No. They're very curly. It's like you. <laughs> she got a cart now. Hi. She's a real New Yorker now. We need to get one of those grandma carts, like Chinese grandma carts. Yes. One master class. We watched one. And now this is the shit that he wants to do in our apartment. Oh, these are perfect. Oh my God, these so are perfect. Pretty. Oh my god, $55. <laughs> I just got home and I downed 25 packs of snacks. But let me tell you something. I am so yeasty. I don't even know what to do with myself, like, but it's on fire. <laughs> My sister said that I just need to shove this up there and uh, let it do its magic. In worst case scenario, I do have to go see a doctor, but probably not. She said I should be fine. I normally don't believe in manifestation to this degree, but I did call myself a discharge queen and my dreams came true. If there is a kingdom of discharge, I reign for the rest of forever, eternity. I don't know, I don't know if I can laugh right now. <laughs> Is it offensive for me to laugh or? Is it misogynistic if I laugh? <laughs> oh my god. If you're a guy watching this, you don't know the shit that we go through to secretly itch those places. You don't even know. You, you make it so obvious. This guy literally goes, bro, bro, and starts itching. <laughs> no, okay. It's like not. a two step process. No, and everyone in that room must know. We have a way of sitting on our ankle, doing a little itch. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> I haven't had a yeast infection in so long. I forgot how horrible it was. Shout out to all my girls suffering with a yeast infection right now. Which speaking of, I ran into so many of you guys today. And can I just say something? Every time I run into someone, they're like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. And I want to be like, me too. Because I have so much social anxiety. I'm so excited to meet people, but I'm so nervous. What if they think I'm uglier in person? What if they hate me now? What if after meeting me, they're like, oh, she's kind of gross and kind of stinky. Is she itchy? I'm gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, meeting you guys has been such an experience. I feel like when I don't run into you guys in public, and I feel like there's not as many of you in Atlanta, or I really just don't go out in Atlanta, but when I run into you guys, it feels like a lot of pressure, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But it, like feels, it feels real, doesn't it? It feels so real. And suddenly, when I'm vlogging back at home, I'm imagining the exact people that I ran into today watching this. Is Ariana, right? are you fucking watching this right now? Mm. Michelle, hello? It feels so real. And that gives me so much pressure, too, because I'm like, no, it's too real now. Can you open this one? <sighs> I love it. If you guys see me in New York or anywhere, Atlanta, please say hi. And I'm just as nervous as you. Maybe <laughs> more. This one I don't think I showed you guys. It's from Hey. Hey. <laughs> Look. We finally have the tiniest lamps that are going to illuminate nothing. I like it though. Oh yeah. I got a sauce cute. pan. Hey, I just want to say when I get rid of my yeast infection, I'm going to give like a award-winning speech. <laughs> Shout out to all those that believe in me. Of the fungus inside of me. I'm thinking because Thanksgiving is coming up in mm, two months, three months. <laughs> it's a gravy dish. I'm gonna do a Thanksgiving mukbang with gravy. Maybe I could put something else in here. I haven't really decided yet. This Most look. likely cheese. This right here. I'm gonna make a ramen in this. I'm gonna use this once in a while just for videos, but I really want to keep it as decor because it's way too pricey for a regular pot. Like think of it on a shelf right there. I could put all my little knickknacks in here and nobody would ever know. Hi everyone, um, 
welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the long-awaited drugstore haul. I'm really excited about this. I went to CVS and picked out all the goodies that you guys have been recommending for me. Some of these my sister actually recommended. So the first thing that I have is, um, it's called Monistat One. So far the packaging is kind of good. I like this baby blue color that they've been using and the letters are really clear to read. I, I mean, I guess I'll open that up in a second because I have so many more fun things in here. I also got this, which I'm kind of excited about. It's the Maximum Strength Cortisone 10, which is anti-itching cream. <laughs> maximum Strength. Oh, this is really, really good. I think I'm gonna take one now because it seems like whatever's going on, there's a lot inside of me. Look at these colors, they're so fun. It's like summer. And then we have some uh, Tyler Noel. Oh, this one, I Whoa. I actually was supposed to get the lemon. I don't know why I grabbed the raspberry. I guess the packaging was just talking to me. I love the shade. Then we have some Pepsi. Asian girlies going crazy. Take this before you drink alcohol. Anyway, and then we have My Doll Complete. Period Charlie's going crazy. As we transition into fall, I feel like this is gonna be my favorite. Monistat One. It comes with a vaginal insert <laughs> and a vaginal cream. It's a vaginal antifungal. I love that Lilo is the sponsor for this video. <laughs> I love you, Lilo. I really do, but <laughs> something's gotta go down there right now. <laughs> Inside review. Packaging gets really simple. Oh. <laughs> My concern is that with tampons, you have to put it up until the ridge. This is where the ridge is. Why is the tip so big? Honey, you're really exposing yourself. Hi. I'm supposed to stick this up my vagina? Huh? No, there's cream in there. There's no cream in here. Oh, you got the vaginal insert? Yeah. <laughs> so how far do I have to stick this up my hoo-ha? All you have to do is get it up there enough that the, you can get the tablet in there. So literally half of an inch is what I would do. I guess I'll stick it far up then. Can I show the vlog, Sophie? They got her a little painting easel. Oh, oh hey yo! She's so excited about it that we, we were like, oh, do you want to go to sleep? And she pushed him away. Oh my God, so cute. Did she write Korea on top? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got the um smoothie bites. Or no, assorted berries, Tums bites. Oh yeah, the assorted berries the best. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh the gummies are so good. Yeah, the gummies are so good, right? The oh, oh kinda dangerous. I could eat a whole pack. Well, I guess I'm gonna go spread my cheeks. <laughs> Look at Sophie, living the freaking life. She has no idea what a world of pain she's gonna grow into. Oh, don't say that, that's sad. At one point in her life, she's gonna get a yeasty. And you're gonna have this same conversation with her. You're gonna be like, just shove it up in there. Break one Do of them, don't this? drop it. Do you see this? It's the, he Do got the light this? bulbs. We have see no lights in this room. I'm so excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. Step back, step, step back. back. It's gonna blow. Whoa! Whoa. Ani, do you want to see the orangest light ever? I'd like to say I would prefer to take a shower first because I feel kind of gross there, but... Oh. Okay, I set up this camera. Hopefully, hopefully you don't see anything because that would be bad. Hold on, I gotta sit down. I did Google some stuff about yeast infections so because I feel like the more that I know about yeast infections, the less scary it becomes. The yeast infection is called Candidiasis. It's from in Canada. Candidiasis. This is what the medicine looks like. My sister says don't do the cream and the suppository at the same time. I feel like I need to have those latex gloves. You want gloves? No! <gasps> it's huge! I was expecting like, I don't know, a Tylenol sized tablet. Ooh, it's like you're laying an egg. Yeah. Do you need some sort of a loop? Gosh. You got yeast, I guess. I got yeast. <laughs> yeah, because according to Google, you get like the, you know you have a yeast infection when you get cheese-like discharge? <laughs> when I said I loved cheese. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. This is now what it looks like. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm sitting on a toilet. I just need to shove it up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's up there. Whoa, I can feel it. This is a foreign 
feeling. I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute, when I'm walking around, it feels like I have a marble shoved in my hoo-ha and the marble is like bouncing around up in there. Oh shoot, I'm supposed to lay down, hold on. This reminds me of those people trying to get pregnant because they lay down and they let it marinate. Anti-yeasty marinate, you know? This is not how I expected my New York City adventure to begin with. My sister said, she said I should be gone by the morning. Oh really? Like, I shouldn't be itchy, oh, which okay. is crazy. I feel like this city is really bringing out the dumbassery Whoa. inside of me. Can I just tell you guys the most embarrassing shit that happened to me at Hot Pot the other day? When we were at Hot Pot, you know the sauce bar? You gotta, you gotta slide open the lid of the sauce bar <laughs> to get to the sauces. So the condiments are inside of this glass screen and you gotta slide that glass screen in and then you can get the green onions and the cilantro and all the sauces. My dumbass, I'm not even thinking at this point, Tiffany's standing next to me, apparently she's not thinking either because I take off the glass lid. I completely lift up the glass lid mm -hmm. and I hand it to her and she's fucking standing next to me at the sauce bar holding the glass lid. <laughs> levitates the glass lid as if you were to open it like this, like you would open a box. And she had the glass lid levitating and she was holding it and she goes, see, I think we're supposed to stand it up like this. So I go, oh my god, you're so smart. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's a million people sitting right next to the sauce bar, literally right next to the sauce bar. They're watching us. We are the only two people at the fucking sauce bar. So she's holding the glass lid, we're levitating the glass lid, finally we put it down. Then another two girls come and <laughs> we have another section of the hot pot sauce lid open and she's holding up the glass lid and they look at us. They look at our glass lid and they slide their glass lid in and then they look at each other. And I just know <laughs> what that meant. Like the exchange of eye contact meant you are fucking stupid. Isn't that right, friend? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, it's fine. They look like nice people. I'm sure they just think we're a little dumb. Then I get to the little soy sauce thing. <laughs> it won't open. Like the soy sauce won't open. It's like in one of those um, like lemonade stands. And the lady next to me that just slid open the glass lid, she opens up the soy sauce for me. And I'm like, oh my god, thank you. And I stand there and she's waiting for me to, use, me to use the soy sauce so she can use the soy sauce. And I put in an exorbitant amount of soy sauce. I'm, I genuinely think I put in an entire Kiko Men bottle of soy sauce. Like, you know those mini ones at the sushi restaurants? Because she was looking at me like I was crazy. And I was like, oh, she really thinks I'm dumb because I don't know how to open the soy sauce or the glass lid. I get down to the table where we're sitting. I take one bite of my fucking sauce. I thought I was eating an entire Himalayan rock, a salt rock. I feel like something's getting into your brain right now. And it's literally all salt. I can't, I literally, and then we order our food and they go, that's a lot of food, you guys only have three people. And we ended up eating it all, plus more. We ordered more on top of that. And I just felt like the biggest idiot in all of Hot Pot. You can feel it up there, I feel like a mother hen. Also, before I hung up on my sister, I said, okay, well, I'm gonna go put it up my butt now. And she gave me a whole lecture on how it's not supposed to go in the butt. And I'm like, Obviously, I know. And she said, oh, sorry, it's because at work, people really don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming she dealt with some people who put it up their butt. I was supposed to make like a TikTok recipe tonight. Which one? Uh, rice paper candy straws. Oh. Oh, going viral. <laughs> I don't know if it's in my head, but I feel like I can feel it moving around. I feel like it's saying hi to my other eggs. Like, hey, you live here? I'm just visiting. Can you not look at me like love is dead? Can you tell that romance is real? Stop yawning! <laughs> <laughs> it's like 8 p.m. Bro. bro, it's too late. Anyway, I feel like this is a really bad time to say make sure to check out Lino. <laughs> 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 Link to the description. You should because life is too short. There's gonna be times when you're a little bit yeasty and you can't have fun. So, check them out. 
and I will probably <laughs> see you guys. What? Try it while you can. <laughs> <laughs> All I can think about is yeast to you. Same. <laughs> Same. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment of your yeast journey. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Ooh. Oh.